I sold Whistling Diesel my $35,000 Nike Air Mag. All right, here you go, Nike Air Mags. 35 racks. There we go, just make sure you take care of those, those are my babies. We're about to live react to his durability test of them, basically him probably destroying the shoes. I have not seen this at all, so we're gonna go over the computer and watch this video. My lord, am I scared. Okay, so I have not seen anything that has to do with these Nike Air Mags since I sold them to Whistling Diesel. We filmed our video in that store, and then he left and did all his stuff, and it has now been a little bit of time, and I have not seen it. It's the first time seeing the video, so I'm actually very excited to see this live reaction. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna click play right there and see what happens. Here we go. Today, Here we go. Be buying one of the world's most expensive sneakers. Let's see this. There are the Air Mags. It's great editing, Nike actually. Air Max. We're gonna see how they hold up compared to the $12,000 Air Dior's. The Dior's. And we're gonna use them how work boots were meant to be used. Oh. We're running them over with this excavator 32,000 times. Let's get to it. Do we're that concrete? In Atlanta, Georgia. They have closed down business today. Shut up, full circle. Purchase of the Nike Air Max. Hey, welcome to Full Circle. How can I help you? We are looking for some work boots today. My old pair, they're getting a little worn out. Do you know what those are? I mean, they're they're, they're Nikes. I don't really know if we're gonna have what you need when it comes to work boots. We got these up here. Oh yeah, I, um, yeah. Let me help you with those. Let me help okay. You. I'll probably just buy those. These ones run about thirty thousand dollars. No, I, I spent thirty bucks. On I mean thirty thousand. All right, I'll take this off. These are these sick. <laughs> um, got plastic all over them. Maybe not man. Just tear it. up the plastic. Why is the lights not on on this one? Uh, mm. A little button right here. Oh, oh and then they yeah. came on. Okay, no, <laughs> I just try them on real quick if you don't mind. Um, if you wanted to try them on, you have to buy them first. I'll, I'll just pay for them. You just got to be really careful. Yeah, like I said, I've had work boots before, so. Okay. So this box is how old? About 12 years old, yep. In 12 years, no one wore this pair of work boots. Why are they $35,000? Work $1, boots. They did 1,500 pairs of them. They came out so long ago, they're kind of vintage now. And they are 100% real. eBay tag right on there. Yeah. I don't know how these are going to hold up compared to Dior. Yours. They come with a title. Hey, oh, no refunds. Sick. Authentication. Oh. All right, I'm going to pause it right here. So I randomly opened this up. I didn't think this was going to have anything to do with this video, but on the inside, it literally says like, do not disassemble, do not get the shoes wet. I thought it was really funny because it was a live reaction as we were filming that portion. Bro. Do not disassemble these shoes. <laughs> and do not get these shoes wet. Not for sports performance. They're basketball shoes. The electronics <laughs> might fail. <laughs> We're gonna find out if they electrocute us. First, you gotta pay for them. Mm -hmm. 35 grand. Saved you a penny right there. That's where, um, not too sure <laughs> I have this. This is not even gonna cover half of a shoelace, unfortunately. How about that? I think you're still about two grand short. We're close. <laughs> excited for new shoes, man. You want a glass display case? <laughs> Shut up, bye. Uh, no, I'm just gonna wear them, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, my oh, Lord. Man. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I feel good. This is sick. I'm gonna talk about this in a second. Oh. So, he literally had a DeLorean meet us at the shoot at the sneaker store. Like, he got that all set up. Like, props Wilson Diesel for that. Looks so sick. Look at these shots. Get <laughs> the freaking door open. Okay, now things are going to escalate. All right, so this is where I haven't seen. And if you guys haven't seen this video, go watch it. I'm pausing it because I'm getting my reaction. I have not seen this part yet, so I'm excited about this. It's going to escalate really quickly. Oh my, come on. What mall is this? Perimeter Mall? That's really destroying the shoe. <laughs> What's wrong, dude? We're here at one of the most hardcore gyms in America. Let's see how the shoes hold up to a bodybuilder like me. Oh my me. god. He's going to the gym. His outfit was on point. <laughs> oh my god, he's running in them. Research of the How did they not get kicked Nike out? The Air Mag has shown that unfortunately the basketball shoes are in fact movie prop replicas not for sports performance, which is disappointing considering they're $35,000. Wait, he has Air Mags too. <laughs> oh! Let's start off by seeing how the Air Mags perform with other players on the court. Oh my, come on. <laughs> This has for sure never been done in Air Max before. What is going on? No. Oh my, it's t Already, the outsole is tearing off. This was the same day that we filmed. I know he does more after, but 
That is not looking good. I mean, they're not Let's meant see for how performance. The shoes do with precise mobility, specifically sneaking across the court. Creasing, insane. Air mags are called air mags because they have magnetic anti-gravity, which means that I should be able to jump at least a thousand times as far as normal shoes because they were a thousand times the price. Oh, I'm gonna try a really easy half court shot now. <laughs> what in the world? I guess they don't give you the powers. All right, what are we doing now? This is scary. Welcome to the danger zone. But first, a word from our sponsor. Welcome to the danger zone. Oh God, danger select? zone. Brady, that says anger zone. Sorry, man. I no, got a put lot a going D. On. Why is it D so small? <laughs> that says Fettinger zone. Bro, this is a Had bed of a nails. Slight accident. We have a really gentle layer of roofing nails. We have some saw blades. Right here is rat trap. Nah, alley. he's not about to. That, he's not about to walk. Boot scrubber with a bunch of saws on blades. They're gonna go back and forth. We did, did we actuate those? No, the so they're not. Gonna... Okay. Well, we have an actual bear trap to make up for that. And then we have, of course, an actual right. chainsaw. My dad would always say before he was handicapped, you want to take a chainsaw and just cut right into your boots. Right here we have the grinder with a circular saw blade. And that's to test out the... I'm just going to set this. Do you know how to set that? All right, now take the clamp saw. In the event that the Nike Air Max do not make it across, I do have steel insoles. Uh, Hi, yeah. Let's go. He's uh. red. He's, All right. he's oh, he's steel insoles. Hold on. He got steel insoles, so that makes a little more sense, but he's actually, but, but what if he like falls over? It can, he gotta be doing Shut something up. here, Shut I don't up. know. Focus. I can feel some pressure there, it's like acupuncture. Oh. We're just gonna slip these in so that the shoes don't get hurt. I'm the boss now. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm actually stuck to it. He's putting holes. Ah! Wait, did they all trip? That wasn't so bad, I made it. Time for stage two. These shoes do not deserve this. What is this? Oh, they're on. The shoes. I know his legs aren't in here, but bro. Put it out, Cody. Put it out. They're in a bear trap. Okay, let's check the damage. Still in one piece, but look at this. I think I melted the adhesive a little bit. Oh, the bear no. trap clamped around it right here. The lights still work. This is completely unsponsored, and I have not spoken to Nike ever since the incident of 1996. Cody, the concrete truck's okay. here? Yeah, all right, let's get to work. The, the concrete the truck? And that's why Bruh. I prepped this area. I'm just gonna demonstrate how well these work as concrete boots. Ah, uh, you can stop pouring it. Yeah, Bru you can Oh stop. my yeah, God. That's probably good. Oh. Okay. What are you trying to make here, Cody? There's what is he gonna do with to them? Dude. You told him the right amount, right? Yeah, you said three yards. No, I said three inches. It came so fast. I didn't even need concrete. Why did I get this? Guys, those are like actual air mags. What is happening? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, they... They're not very they waterproof. Actually wore off pretty good. My feet are drippy. Wore off. They washed off pretty good. Oh, there you go. Rolling over them. Just destruction. Yeah, and it's all... Uh-oh. There goes a piece of insole. We have a steamroller out here. We're gonna see how the Nike Air Max, if you're playing basketball, it's similar to what would happen a if steam they, you got steamrolled. All right, here we go. Oh. Pain. The water coming out. Oh my lord. Let's see how it's doing. This is insane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you might have to back up a little. I'm just gonna back up. Those are flat. Let me back up. Yeah, back up a little. I'm there backing up. There you go. There you go. All right, are we further. good? Yeah, that's good. No, 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 no. Pretty good. All right, look. Oh, this is oh my. Do it for you. <laughs> Do it for you. <laughs> stupid shoes. They're not stupid. Cody. Stupid Bro, is Mikey shoes. gonna come after I'll him for this? I'll let them dry out in the sun. Oh, there you go. Oh, 
just Don't turn straight on over it. Oh. All right, let's see how they did. That's not good. Oh. It seemed to be holding up just a little bit. Right, well, that wasn't so bad. No, nothing. Oh. I wish I was there for this. This honestly would have been hilarious. Okay, so this came off, which it should have been able Morphe to hold outsole. up to that. No, that's actually extremely impressive. Look, they're still in one piece. I didn't even do anything. I didn't even do anything. What in the world? All right, how did I do? Well, you didn't get much level construction done. Yeah, I know. I've always been good. You don't, you won't even know until you walk a mile in my shoes. Shut up, dude. Oh, we got it. We got it. Dude, that is down there. Is that the shoe? Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh my god. One fully intact. They're air still mag. intact. Oh wait. I just saw the outsole there. He's not gonna burn them, is he? Oh my god. Alright, let's see if these Yeah, light it next to the propane tank. So wouldn't get completely crushed and we could actually prove this to everyone. This comes from eBay with products that they want to verify that are really expensive. So we'll see what comes up eBay when we scan this. this item was authenticated by our experts. Release date September 7th, 2011. It wasn't lying. Those are real. Now, I bought them for more than he paid for them. I actually need to change the oil on my 2006 epson printer here we have standard bulk ink all right we're just gonna put a little all right so i pause here for a reason i was supposed to be going up to his ranch to go ahead and do some other parts of the content for this video a few days ago but i couldn't because he said the shoes are still wet with printer ink and i was wondering what how possible like i did i just don't understand and what possible context that printer ink could get on the shoes and right now that's what it looks like. Now, if we're taking a look at the Air Mags in their current state, they're muddy, they're wet, they're destroyed, but they've held up better than I expected, but I don't know what's gonna happen with printer ink, so. A little Let's bit see. right there on the toe. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh, no. oh my God. So that worked really well. As you can see, the ink is running right off. We're gonna see if we were to change car oil and we accidentally spilled a little bit. No way he just, but so, oil. You can see, the oil is running right off. Any minute now, this should run off. It's soaking in. I think it's running off. You have to clean up his shop floor. That's crazy. Okay, we have a problem. This combobulation of the lower <gasps> sole. Don't rip it off. Oh. oh. Wait, we have some oil dry. Hold up. Shortly, the oil should dry up and they will look good as new. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching. Next time, stay tuned for our printer durability test. All right, we can cut. That's good. That was way worse than I expected. Oh. Guys, the freaking... The ink I, I need to see what these look like now i think i need to try to go up to his ranch and see these things now look at them here you have car oil and printer ink there's no way they come back from printer ink you can't wash that out printer ink is, it stains everything it's so thick and oil i bet sneakerheads are mad at me for for selling him these shoes that is crazy What's funny is like the bulldozer and stuff, it obviously affects the shoes, but not as much as I thought it would. Like I thought that they would get crushed way, like I don't know, it's interesting, but the concrete, the concrete freaked me out, but now I realize he didn't let it dry. If you'd have let the concrete dry, that would have been so bad. I'm, I gotta go up there and see these things. I'm so glad I waited to watch that on camera. Do I regret selling him the shoes? <sighs> I knew what was gonna happen to them. Sorry if I let any fellow sneakerheads down by selling Listen Diesel these shoes, but we had to see a durability test of them. They stood up to the test until the printer ink and everything came. I think they did pretty well until the very end, so. That's the most that anybody's ever done in any sort of Nike Air Mag. That is 100% for sure. So uh, shout out Wisniews for filming the video. 
And uh, man, I gotta go see those shoes. That's crazy. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Harrison. Oh, <laughs> my